Hey guys, just a quick uh, tool tour here. I wanna give you a little quick conversation about uh, torque wrenches and the ones I've been using over the years to work on all my cars here, things that I like and don't like. Um, so let's go pull these out one by one so I can kind of go over them uh, with you. So the first thing you're gonna notice is that um, you've got these torque wrenches. This is a uh, 1 8 uh, inch drive right here, okay? And these are kind of like, like the barrel torque wrench where you go and look at your torque spec on the side here, pull this collar down, twist this until you reach the number, and then these will click uh, once you reach that torque value. Um, this is nice because this is a, uh, as I mentioned, a quarter inch drive. So this is good for pretty much 40 inch pounds to 200 inch pounds. If you wanna convert that to foot pounds, you divide uh, the number by 12. So if it was 120 uh, inch pounds, that's gonna be 10 foot pounds. One thing I've kind of upgraded to are these uh, split beam torque wrenches. What I really love about these are that, here's your split right here. So you get like five degrees of articulation on the head. It's nice because it gives you a little extra room to uh, get to that fastener. Uh, what I really love about these, and I'm now uh, converting all my torque wrenches to this, are these really quick dial adjustments. So as you saw earlier here, I'm kind of gonna pull down on this, you know, rotate this, rotate this, rotate this, and that, and, and that works, okay? But here, all you have to do is just spin this knob, close that down, and you're off onto your torque. Um, so I've got that for three eighths, and I've got this for half inch as well. Uh, this one goes from 50 foot-pounds up to 250. Uh, this is an Icon, so you get these at Harbor Freight. I've had no issues with these at all. If you're interested in buying these torque wrenches, I've, li I've listed them in the description below. It's up on Amazon from like Techon and Precision Instruments. Uh, they pretty much are all gonna be the same. Um, this is a 90 tooth design, it's really nice. And again, what I love about this is you've got this, this split head here. And so when you're gonna go torque down uh, lug nuts on your car, what I really like about this okay is that you can come in here just like that and then you can see how you can angle the torque wrench away from the car i'm sure some of you guys in the past have you know where you don't have this split head you, you go kind of on, on, on this uh this lug nut right here and you get very close to the body panel itself so uh, what i like about these is that you can get that extra five degree additionally again as we mentioned the speed of adjustment is so nice, so fast. Um, and I'll kind of compare that to other things I've used in the past as well. So next thing I'm gonna move on to are uh, digital torque wrenches. Uh, so I'll show you how fast or slow this is to uh, get from like, let's say, so right now I'm at 48 foot pounds and I wanna get to like 90. You gotta hold the up arrow and it goes by 0.1s and it goes by one. And then it just like jumps and it goes from 0.1 uh, degree increments and it goes to one you know foot pound increment and it goes by 10 foot pound increments so like it can be kind of hard to dial in so let's go to 50 foot pounds and a lot of times you'll overshoot the number then you go back you gotta release the handle the little button here release it again release it again release it again and then you can set it okay versus all right three ace all right 50 foot pounds done okay so what i love about these split beams again are that you can just get to different torque settings extremely fast and all of these pretty much have the same accuracy so this isn't really going to be like a, a competition of accuracy here uh so i've got a three ace three ace digital torque wrench uh these can come in handy because as you go to torque down it does tell you uh what torque you applied to the fastener um just in case you over torque something etc um, but I really do prefer the click style if I had to make a decision. Um, additionally, let's see here. Uh, this is a micro torque wrench set, okay? These are, this is a very precise, uh, these are very precise torque instruments, okay? So you can see here, this goes from 10 to 50 inch pounds. Uh, this goes from five to 10 inch pounds. And then this goes from 15 to 80 inch ounces. And the way that this works is you know you'll go and put this you, what you'll do so if i want to put uh like 40 inch ounces of torque on this and this is like for like putting like, like watches together you take this device here okay and then you'll turn this and then this will allow you you can kind of see in here to select the torque that you need so if i need to get to 40 there's 40 
And what I do, I take this, I, cl I click it in, and then you can even take a uh, quarter inch driver adapter right there if you want to, or you've got, you know, all your uh, sockets, et cetera, right here, or whatever fastener you need. So in the uh, microelectronics industry, um, I'm, I'm a mechanical engineer by trade, uh, do a lot of precision work. Um, so these will come in handy if you really need to spec out a torque on like small fasteners. Um, in the engineering world, you have to specify a torque before you give it to a like technician or an end user because you can't just say tight enough um, because someone will always over tighten it or under tighten it. And that goes back to the engineer and they'll say, oh, why didn't you give a torque spec? Um, so, you know, most of the times you can feel stuff and you don't really need a torque wrench, but for those situations where you do need a torque spec, this is great for very small torques. I will link this in the description below. This is very expensive. This is probably a $500 uh, torque uh, driver kit, but nevertheless, uh, it's made in Germany. It's from Viha, and it's an amazing uh, set there. Uh, the, last, the last torque wrench I use, uh, again, this is a this is a design where you're you're pulling on this lever here and you're twisting this. Uh, this goes from 600 to like 100 foot pounds. Uh, I use this large torque wrench. This is going to have a three quarter inch drive. That's for uh, fastening down uh, like pretty much like castle nuts. So these guys right here. So when you go to put like like your drive shafts in and tighten that, normally these are like 300. Uh, foot pounds, so that comes to handy for that. And then, all right, the last torque we're gonna use, okay, so maybe, um, you know, you're, you're gonna be storing this very large torque wrench. You know, I don't use this very often. If you've got like a Porsche GT3 with the center lock wheels, you will need something like this. Additionally, what you can do is you can get these digital converters. So what you would do with this is you would turn this on, okay, zero it out, and then you can, you can set what torque you want. However, what you'll have to do is attach this to a, a breaker bar. So I won't even pull this out, but this is a three quarter inch breaker bar. So this would go in here, okay, just like that. And then you can go and torque down. All right, so, you, so what's nice about this is that you can store this in a small form factor. Turn that off. Okay, uh, so kind of like to review here. Um, if I had to start all over again and make a recommendation for anyone starting out, I would go with the uh, split beam torque wrenches. Again, this, the adjustment of this is so fast um, and I just love that. And I love having this swivel head. It really gets you a, a lot more uh, maneuverability to some fasteners just in case you need it. For example, when I was doing the transmission bolts that go uh, into the top of the transmission of the bell housing, just having this like up there just gave me a little extra uh, play. Um, again, digital torque wrenches, they, they can be nice. I, I kind of like the idea of this back when I purchased it, but I really hated this interface. How I had to like navigate around here. What is nice though, is that you can select the units. Uh, you go inch pounds, kilogram centimeters, kilogram meters, newton meters, pound foot. So that is nice, uh, you know, whereas on here, you know, you are gonna be doing some kind of conversion of foot pounds to newton meters and like there's not that much fidelity in here so i would say if you need to do a, a newton meter uh you know a quick conversion uh maybe this isn't the best uh, torque wrench for that however i will say that if you can get the uh the value uh spit out to you in foot pounds then you'll be very fast with this torque wrench here uh so if you're going around the car doing different torques you know i'm going to grab this split beam here with this radial adjustment it's very fast uh no complaints at all on this and as I mentioned, everything I've pretty much used for my torque wrenches here will be linked in the description below. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments. And I uh, hope this video helps someone out, it's kind of getting started. This is kind of like information I wish I had known a long time ago. So again, I really do prefer these, these, these click styles, you know when you've engaged something. Uh, the digital stuff, like it can be useful. I don't like them as much anymore, but I really do enjoy uh, these split beams for uh, three eighths inch half inch and then they don't really make a split beam i'm sure that there's something out there but this guy right here this is around 200 bucks for a three uh, quarter inch drive and i only use this for tightening down very large faster which is very rare so i feel like i have to really splurge on spending you know 800 on a torque wrench you know so here we are all right we'll see you next time